you, 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 you probably might know this one, if you're into old blues and stuff. Did, were you ever into skiffle? Yeah, sort of, yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows she's only putting on the style Oh, putting on the agony Putting on the style That's what all the young folk are doing all the while And if they chance to surround me I'm a fern have to smile Watching all the young folk putting on the style Oh, a young man in a hot rod car Driving like he's mad Wearing a pair of yellow gloves He borrowed up his dad Makes the engine roar so sweet Just to see his girlfriend smile But everybody knows he's only Putting on the style Oh, putting on the agony Putting on the style That's what all the young folk are doing all the while And if they just around me I'm a fan of two styles Watching all the young folk Put it on the style One more verse, folk This is the last one Preacher Preacher in the pulpit Praying with all his might Sings glory, hallelujah Gives the people such a fright You might think that Satan Is coming down the aisle But it's just our old preacher boys Put it on the style Oh, but Putting on the agony, putting on the style That's what all the young folk are doing all the while And if they chance to surround me, I'm often out to smile Watching all the young folk putting on the style Twenties that comes from. Huh? It was from the twenties? Yeah. So it wasn't originally by Lonnie Donegan? No, then? no, no, no. I no. didn't know that. I thought no. he wrote it. I forget what it was called now. It's called something else. <coughs> but, uh, oh, it's an ancient song, yeah. Yeah, nothing wrong with Lonnie well, Donegan. I love but, Lonnie Donegan. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'd better go and get something done. Yeah, it's, it's good to <laughs> see you, man. Take it easy. Yeah, Take care. Have a lovely day. I think that uh, I've been dabbling with musical instruments most of my life, like literally since toddler age, because um, me, mum and dad had a Hammond organ uh, that the, um, the like years ago, I think they got it in the 70s and it was still about when I was a little kid, in the late 80s and early 90s. So I t dabbled with that, but I really met my, my perfect instrument, little did I know, when I was four years old. Um, my next door neighbour was an elderly bloke and his granddaughter gave me a uh, a Spanish flamenco guitar as a present and so uh, it was like some it was I, I considered it a toy uh, back then and so there was no pressure of oh, having to practice it and that's probably why I, I kept up with it because there were it, I, I, it was like a plaything, something to do for fun first album uh, was less of an album but more of an EP it was uh, Gorillas Clint Eastwood uh, I just liked the song it had a really dark feel to it and I've always been interested in the macabre and horror and obviously in the video there's zombie gorillas coming out of graves uh, and that fascinated me you know i think i was about 14 or 15 when i when i got that album but my favorite album the best album i got uh, that really kick-started me wanting to actually make music for myself was uh, never mind the bollocks uh, by the sex pistols 1977 uh, it made a massive impression on me because um, my favourite era since a little kid has always been the 1970s. I love the fashion, the music, but um, until I, it, my, I was in my teens, I didn't know that punk was around in the 70s. Uh, I thought it was an 80s thing. Uh, and then when I found out it was in the 70s, it's like, fuck me. Hippies were around at the same time as punk rockers. Like, what a contrast. It stood out to me so much. It was just, you could do whatever the fuck you want. You can swear, you can... You don't have to be that good on guitar. You can write whatever you, you, you want in your lyrics and you can sing in your own regional accent. And, uh, uh, with me having quite a, a broad, ripply Derbyshire accent, uh, I tend to try and enunciate the words in my lyrics uh, in the same way I would if I was speaking normally like this. So um, it was definitely uh, 
uh, never mind the bollocks that kickstarted me wanting to uh, make music. Punk rock in general. The Sex Pistols are no longer my favourite band. My two favourite bands of all time are Black Sabbath and The Adverts because they're the quite different bands. Like Black Sabbath are obviously, obviously the granddads of heavy metal. The Adverts are a, more of a cult punk rock band from the 70s but they did a famous track called Gary Gilmore's Eyes in 1977 about the uh, Texas serial killer Gary Gilmore who was executed by firing squad. And once again, the horror aspect, it's uh, the songs about somebody getting Gary Gilmore's corneas implanted in them and then they start getting murderous urges. So uh, those, two, those two bands with the heavy metal aspect and the 1970s dark gothic punk rock are definitely where I push my uh, influences from. Hello dear fans, Squatters right here again, aka El Lobo Blanco. I'd like to introduce uh, a track of mine that I wrote six years back in Los Angeles. It's about basically taking a step back. If things are getting too stressful, just chill out. Take some convalescence and then once you've refreshed yourself, get back on track. It's called Pace Yourself, You're Doing Fine. <laughs> 